we are fighting for freedom and they, the children are our future. protecting the rights of the Korean people. And the children are our future. Okay. We have about uh, 30, 40 kids here. They don't have a school yet. But next year we are preparing to build a, a new school for them. at uh, Mela refugee camp at the moment, uh, has around 50,000 accounted for refugees and there's approximately another, we've heard about another 10,000 uh, refugees that aren't accounted for in here. Um, pretty sad place, it's, uh, they get education and food but nothing much else and uh, yeah, it's, it's hard work for the families here and some of these families have been here for 20 years. the refugee camp and uh, most people they want to leave because the, the ration that they got uh, they they cut them into half cut them into half not uh, before they got like uh, 16 uh, kilo of rice per, per person now they only get uh, eight kilo of rice per person for adult so uh, for them it, uh, they don't have enough food for the moment so it's getting very difficult for refugees to survive in the refugee camp. Most uh, foreigners, they think uh, everything is uh, everything is peace in Burma. So we, we heard about uh, after two years, there's going to be a forced repatriation. These people are our, our current people and donors are leaving them. They've been here for so many years, 25 years. We have to take care of these refugees. We cannot really uh, abandon them. We have to do something to uh, tell the world that these people need to be treated as a human being. This is the last year for some of the NGO, like working in Bora. Like they, after this year, they are going to move to inside Burma. Okay, we are actually in a new blood, blood school in Thai side near Mesot, and uh, this school don't have, funny, uh, don't have money anymore. The organization NCCN, they cut 80% uh, of our funding. KNDO is also, uh, also has a branch like an NGO to help some people, and uh, we bought some uh, food. Can you bought some food uh, to feed the, the students, the, the young students, and so we are here to help them and we provide some food, as you see, uh, because the current, the young students do not have uh, enough food to eat, and uh, so we feed them also. Uh, some organizations are not following them anymore, and KNDO uh, choose to, 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 to take care about them. Thank you very much for KNDO for donating us uh, the food and other material when we are needed. This year, and um, it is almost 500 students. Yeah. But, uh, year by year, uh, and it's increase. Uh, because of the previous years, uh, 400. Now more than 500. Yeah. And the next year is uh, more and more increase, more and more increase. Yeah. Please don't forget us to have a life. We are like living on, on your hands without you. No survivors. Please don't forget us. The coconut trees over there. Yeah. Um, it's about 500 metres from the, the base camp, back up that way. Um, at, uh, yeah, a pretty secure area. That, that will be the future orphanage down there.
Kaki NDO is protecting the rights of the Korean people. And we are protecting the children. That's why we're building a boarding house, a safe house for our Korean children. This room will be for the girls. Not, not quite finished yet, but uh, hopefully when we have all the woods, uh, the, the carpenter will do it uh, very quickly. And this room will be for girls. And the, <coughs> the guys will be sleeping out here. And, uh, This space. Also, we have to put a wall and uh, make a door here, and there will be a, a storage room for the kids, for the children, and this uh, will be the, the teacher's place. Teachers will be staying here. Fantastic. So, yeah, we're still working on it, not quite finished yet, but uh, almost, we're almost done with uh, all the works. Yeah. We're taking about uh, 25 children here 25 children, this year. Yes. Maybe next year, next year will be more children. But uh, now we have the boarding house, so we're think, thinking about uh, building a, a school over there, somewhere there. So we have to take have a step by step. Yeah, all over there, the school can be there. Yeah, the cement will be higher. Yeah, right. On the way there, the wall will be wall, cement wall. Try to get some elephants, elephants not here, so we have to wait for a while okay. to get them. And you need more, uh, more money to finish? But we also think about our children, the coming up generation. We want them to have good education, we want them to have uh, good vision, good future for, for our children. So, so we want our children to have good education so that they can uh, be able to come back when the country is free, they are able to come back to our country, rebuild our country. Children. So children are our future. Vision, we call the organization the White Lily, and uh, the vision behind it is uh, one grain, one home. And then we have six, seven, eight white lilies. That means six, seven, eight children. That's the, why the name White Lily. But right now, we already have uh, more than uh, 60 kids. So next year we have more. And these kids are all orphans? Not all orphans. Some, some are. Uh, poor, they come from poor families. They don't. Families cannot support them, so we, they can come and stay at the boarding house, and uh, so that they can have a good future. That's why we're working with this, uh, these uh, our friends from Norwegian friends to support the kids, and we're not only thinking about sending the, these kids to, to school, but we're thinking about rebuilding our country. Playground and vegetables. Here we are going to have. Um, uh, a special kind of work uh, workshop house with carpentry, making uh, motorbikes, bicycles, uh, computer, room, computer room, music room. So also place for animals here, and uh, so this is this is uh, the grace that we want to develop to to be a place for 50, 60 children. We, we, we want to to build small small houses, small homes with uh, a mom and papa who sees everyone in the house, who can follow them up and uh, see them if they are uh, get teased by other uh, or uh, schooling. We're building safe homes, small units, with one mom and papa in each house. For Dixieland, where I was born, early on a white frosty morning, look away. Look away, look away, Dixieland. Okay, I'm coming back. Glory, glory, I Glory, glory.